<laughs> I was about to ask G, was it a Van Gogh, Michelangelo? But one thing I can say, my friend, you are like wine. You are just getting finer and finer with your age, G. Now, look, when it comes to uh, tough critics, of course, uh, there are so many of them around the world, there can be none that are harder to please than the average child. Yes, now time and time again, parents have been victims of fussy eating kids, but our Be Well Cooking for Kids spaghetti bolognese is the solution we've all been looking for. Now, it's loaded with a range of veggies and spices, and this recipe will have the kids coming back for seconds. And pst, it's also a vegan-making kind of dish, too. So we're looking after the planet and our animals at the same time. And who better than Grace Stevens right here in the studio to show us how it's done. Grace, how are you doing this morning? I am so well, thanks. I'm, I must just say I am older than Graham. So. I would have never <laughs> told. Wow. My photos aren't are in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> no color those days. Well, just like you guys are aging well, so I need to find out what your secret is. I'm, I'm sure it's got something to do with the food here. So let's us get stuck in. Yeah, let's we're going to make some spag bowl, which is always nice. Yeah. You have to have this in your repertoire as a mom to like hide in all the vegetables. But I've got my Be Well olive oil here, which is great for your heart. Great your way to start your child's yeah. health, health off. So onions. Okay. I love the fact okay. that you can also cook at a little bit of a higher temperature now with the Be Well. Which yes. Which is a real good benefit. So if you want to get that sear on, then you come to the right place. Some I, garlic here. Yeah. I've got to also... Just to confirm, everything here, yeah, ingredients-wise, looks like it is definitely vegan, right? There's no it meat here whatsoever. It, there's no meat. So it's a no meat Monday, and um, we've hidden all these vegetables in. And uh, the soy mince is going to give us that meat flavor. Okay, and we've nice. got Worcestershire sauce. Can you say that? Worcestershire <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So then you've got the, you've, you started off with the mushrooms, of course, and the onion. Yeah, you want to cook these down and then half the garlic because you want to cook that down. Okay. And then as soon as this is cooked down, you're going to add all your liquid. Ooh, so okay. tomato. Can you just count in the veg as we go? I am. I'm trying to you keep know? track here. Um, and I'm trying to see if this is similar to my mom's recipe or not because, like you said, it's spag bowl is like a tradition in almost every household. It, it's a favorite for somebody I know, especially you guys out there in Zanzi. I know a lot of people putting their hands up right now. But while we are speaking about it, you are throwing in all sorts, all of, sorts spices of spices and that herbs go and all here. the good things. And, and some and maple syrup that goes in. Maple syrup is low GI, so it is better than syrup or some sugar. Of course, and it's a nice way to sweeten up that meal and bring that balance back in, obviously, with all these spices we're so adding. Soy sauce, and then say it with me. Worcestershire sauce <laughs> that goes in. The rest of my garlic goes in. So this is, the, it's just one pot, which mm. is what I like as a mom. So I would imagine you could get a little bit creative at this point in time. If you have certain preferences, you want to make it a little bit stronger, or if your kids like something a little bit more sweeter, maybe. I mean, you could kind of... Uh, get creative, yeah, I would imagine. You can definitely, like, depending also on the season, I love putting courgettes in here, so I also ah. chop them. So when I chop all my um, mushrooms in the food processor, I will put some courgettes in here. Courgettes, so, are those the, the, the... Baby marrows. Yes, okay. Yeah, just, baby just marrows, make sure I'm yeah. with you there. Okay. So I will do that. This is looking so good. I'm going to put my barley in here. Ooh. You have to have your liquid in before you put your barley in. So you've got lots of protein alternatives in here. This is going to help with brain. This is definitely brain food. Some peas for color. Yeah. Just give me some nice color. And then you cook this down for about half an hour. You want all of that, to all the flavors to come through. Oh, if you were standing closer to me and we weren't social, social distancing, distancing, you could smell I how can good smell it from here. It's it literally look? smelling like I'm back at home with moms yes. in the kitchen. I'm getting that nostalgia feel and Get it the, looks like you pretty much done with this recipe too. It. And that's it. So it's Beautiful. really one of those easy peasy when you're like really stressed and you need to put together a really good healthy meal Spag for your Spag bowl in less than half an hour. Who would have thought? Grace Stevens, thank you so much for educating me on this one. I'm definitely going to add it to my arsenal. But if you love this meal, of course, and are a favorite or, or you're after a more kid-friendly meal and a delicious meal too on top of it, then of course head over to bewellfoods.co.za and download your free copy of the Cooking for Kids cookbook. How cool is that? Now it's packed with fun, functional and easy snacks and meals that can be enjoyed by the entire family too. So you've got to get yours and put a smile on your kid's face and their tummies too. Mm. Let me dish up. This looks good. Yes.